The Serbian Orthodox Church Serbian, Srpska Pravoslavna Krikva Srpska Pravoslavna Crkva is one of the autocephalous Eastern Orthodox Christian churches. It is the second oldest Slavic Orthodox Church in the world after the Bulgarian Orthodox Church. The Serbian Orthodox Church comprises the majority of the population in Serbia, Montenegro, and the Republika Srpska entity of Bosnia and Herzegovina. It is organized into metropolises and eparchies located primarily in Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, and Croatia, but also all over the world where Serb diaspora lives. The Serbian Orthodox Church is an autocephalous, or ecclesiastically independent, member of the Eastern Orthodox Communion. Serbian Patriarch serves as first among equals in his church, the current Patriarch is Irinej. The Church achieved autocephalous status in 1219 under the leadership of Saint Sava, becoming independent Archbishopric of Zika. Its status was elevated to that of a Patriarchate in 1346, and was known afterwards as the Serbian Patriarchate of Pec. This Patriarchate was abolished by the Ottoman Turks in 1766. The modern Serbian Orthodox Church was re-established in 1920 after the unification of the Patriarchate of Karlovci, the Metropolitanate of Belgrade and the Metropolitanate of Montenegro. Historical background Early Christianity Christianity spread to the Balkans beginning in the 1st century. Floris and Loris are venerated as Christian martyrs of the 2nd century, they were murdered along with 300 Christians in Lipion. Constantine the Great 306 born in Nice, was the first Christian Roman emperor. Several bishops seated in what is today Serbia participated in the First Council of Nicaea 325, such as Ursatius of Singidunum. In 380, Eastern Roman Emperor Theodosius decreed that his subjects would be Christians according to the Council of Nicaea formula. Greek was used in the Byzantine Church, while the Roman Church used Latin. With the definite split in 395, the line in Europe ran south along the Dina River. Among old Christian heritage is the Archbishopric of Justiniana Prima, established in 535, which had jurisdiction over the whole of present-day Serbia. However, the archbishopric did not last, as the Slavs and Avars destroyed the region sometime after 602, when the last mention is made of it. In 731 Leo III attached Illyricum and southern Italy Sicily and Calabria to Patriarch Anastasius of Constantinople, transferring the papal authority to the Eastern Church. Christianization of Serbs the history of the early medieval Serbian principality is recorded in the work De Administrando Imperio die, compiled by the Byzantine Emperor Constantine VII Porphyrogenitus R. 913-959. The die drew information on the Serbs from, among others, a Serbian source. The Serbs were said to have received the protection of Emperor Heraclius R. 610-641, and Porphyrogenitus stressed that the Serbs had always been under imperial rule. His account on the first Christianization of the Serbs can be dated to 632 to 638. This might have been Porphyrogenitus' construction, or may have really taken place, encompassing a limited group of chiefs and then very poorly received by the wider layers of the tribe. The establishment of Christianity as state religion dates to the time of Prince Mutimer R. 851-891 and Byzantine Emperor Basil I R. 867-886. Porphyrogenitus attests that Croats and Serbs sent delegates asking for baptism, thus Basil "...baptized all of them that were unbaptized of the aforesaid nations." The Christianization was due partly to Byzantine and subsequent Bulgarian influence. At least during the rule of Kosel (861–874) in Pannonia, communications between Serbia and Great Moravia, where Methodius was active, must have been possible. This fact, the Pope was presumably aware of when planning Methodius' diocese, as well as that of the Dalmatian coast, which was in Byzantine hands as far north as Split. There is a possibility that some Cyrilomethodian pupils reached Serbia in the 870s, perhaps even sent by Methodius himself. 
Serbia was accounted Christian as of about 870. The first Serbian bishopric was founded at Ross, near modern Novi Pazar on the Ibar River. According to Vlasto, the initial affiliation is uncertain, it may have been under the subordination of either Split or Durazzo, both then Byzantine. The early Ross church can be dated to the 9th 10th century, with the rotunda plan characteristic of first court chapels. The bishopric was established shortly after 871, during the rule of Mutimer, and was part of the general plan of establishing bishoprics in the Slav lands of the empire, confirmed by the Council of Constantinople in 879 880. The names of Serbian rulers through Mutimer are, 851 are Slavic dithematic names, per the old Slavic tradition. With Christianization in the 9th century, Christian names appear. The next generations of Serbian royalty had Christian names, Petr, Stefan, Pavla, Zaharije, etc., evident of strong Byzantine missions in the 870s. Petr Gajnakovic was evidently a Christian prince, and Christianity presumably was spreading in his time. Also, since Serbia bordered Bulgaria, Christian influences and perhaps missionaries came from there, increasing during the 20 year peace. The Bulgarian annexation of Serbia in 924 was important for the future direction of the Serbian church, and by then, at latest, Serbia must have received the Cyrillic alphabet and Slavic religious text, already familiar but perhaps not yet preferred to Greek. <laughs> Archbishopric of Ored in 1018–19, the Archbishopric of Ored was established after the Byzantines conquered Bulgaria. Greek replaced Slavic as the liturgical language. Serbia was ecclesiastically administered into several bishoprics, the Bishopric of Ross, mentioned in the First Charter of Basil II became part of the Ored Archbishopric and encompassed the areas of southern Serbia, by the rivers Roska, Ibar and Lim, evident in the Second Charter of Basil II. In the Chrysobulls of Basil II dated to 1020, the Ross bishopric is mentioned as serving the whole of Serbia, with the seat at the Church of the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, Ross. Among the first bishops were Leontius Florida, 1123-1126, Cyril Florida, 1141-1143, Euthymius Florida, 1170 and Kalinic Florida, 1196. It later joined the Autocephalous Archbishopric of Zika in 1219, at the time of St. Sava. The 10th or 11th century Gospel book Codex Marianus, written in Old Church Slavonic in the Glagolithic script, is one of the oldest known Slavic manuscripts and was partly written in the Serbian redaction of Old Church Slavonic. Other early manuscripts include 11th century Gerskovichev Odlomak Apostola and Mahanovichev Odlomak. History Topic Topic Autocephalous Archbishopric twelve nineteen to thirteen forty six Topic Serbian Prince Rastko Nemanjic, the son of Stefan Nemanja, took monastic vows at Mount Athos as Sava in eleven ninety two. Three years later, his father joined him, taking monastic vows as Simeon. Father and son asked of the holy community that the Serbian religious centre be founded at the abandoned site of Holandar, which they renovated, marking the beginning of a renaissance in arts, literature and religion. Sava's father died at Holandar in 1199, and was canonised as Saint Simeon. Sava stayed for some years, rising in rank, then returned to Serbia in 1207, taking with him the remains of his father, which he interred at the Studenica Monastery, after reconciling his two quarrelling brothers Stefan II with Vukan. Stefan II asked him to remain in Serbia with his clerics, which he did, providing widespread pastoral care and education to the people of Serbia. He founded several churches and monasteries, among them the Zika Monastery. Sava brought the regal crown from Rome, crowning his older brother. King of all Serbia. In the Zika Monastery in 1217, Sava returned to the Holy Mountain in 1217 18, marking the beginning of the real formation of the Serbian Church. He was consecrated in 1219 as the first Archbishop of the Serbian Church, and was given autocephaly by Patriarch Manuel I of Constantinople, who was then in exile at Nicaea. In the same year, Sava published Zakonoprvilo. Street. Sava's Nomokanon. 
Thus the Serbs acquired both forms of independence, political and religious. After this, in Serbia, he stayed in Studenica and continued to educate the Serbian people in their faith, and later he called for a council outlawing the Bogomils, who were regarded heretics. Sava appointed protobishops, sending them over all of Serbia to conduct baptisms, marriages etc. To maintain his standing as the religious and social leader, he continued to travel among the monasteries and lands to educate the people. In 1221, a synod was held in the Zika monastery, condemning Bogomilism. The following seats were newly created in the time of St. Sava Zika, the seat of the Archbishop at Monastery of Zika, Eparchy of Zeta, Zetska, seated at Monastery of Holy Archangel Michael in Prevlaka near Kotor in Zeta region, Eparchy of Hum, Humska, seated at Monastery of the Holy Mother of God in Stan, in Hum region. Eparchy of Dabar, Dabarska, seated at Monastery of St. Nicholas in Dabar region. Eparchy of Moravica, Moravica, seated at Monastery of St. Achilles in Moravica region. Eparchy of Butimla, Butimianska, seated at Monastery of St. George in Butimla region. Eparchy of Toplica, Toplica, seated at Monastery of St. Nicholas in Toplica region. Eparchy of Vosno, Havostanska, seated at Monastery of the Holy Mother of God in Vosno region, Northern Medahia. Older eparchies under the jurisdiction of Serbian Archbishop were Eparchy of Ross, Roska, seated at Church of the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul near Ross in Roska region. Eparchy of Lipion, Lipionska, seated at Lipion in Kosovo region. Eparchy of Prizren, Prizrenska, seated at Prizren in the south of Medahia region. In 1229-1233, Saint Sava went on a pilgrimage to Palestine, and in Jerusalem he met with Patriarch Athanasios II. Sava saw Bethlehem, where Jesus was born, the Jordan River, where Christ was baptized, and the Great Lavra of Saint Sabas the Sanctified Mar Saba Monastery. Sava asked Athanasios II, his host, and the Great Lavra Fraternity, led by Hegumenos Nicholas, if he could purchase two monasteries in the Holy Land. His request was accepted and he was offered the monasteries of St. John the Theologian on Mount Sion and St. George's Monastery on Akona, both to be inhabited by Serbian monks. The icon Troherusica three-handed Theotokos, a gift to the Great Lavra from St. John Damascene, was given to Sava and he, in turn, bequeathed it to Holandar. Sava died in Trovo, capital of the Second Bulgarian Empire, during the reign of Ivan Asin II of Bulgaria. According to his biography, he fell ill following the Divine Liturgy on the Feast of the Epiphany, 12 January 1235. Sava was visiting Trovo on his way back from the Holy Land, where he had founded a hospice for Syrian pilgrims in Jerusalem and arranged for Serbian monks to be welcomed in the established monasteries there. He died of pneumonia in the night between Saturday and Sunday January 14, 1235, and was buried at the Cathedral of the Holy Forty Martyrs in Trovo where his body remained until May 6, 1237, when his sacred bones were moved to the monastery Milseva in southern Serbia. In 1253 the see was transferred to the monastery of Peck by Archbishop Arseni. The Serbian primates had since moved between the two. Sometime between 1276 to 1292, the Cumans burned the Zika monastery, and King Stefan Militan renovated it in 1292 to 1309 during the office of Justidij II. In 1289 to 1290, the chief treasures of the ruined monastery, including the remains of Saint Justidij I, were transferred to Peck. Topic: <inaudible> Medieval Patriarchate 1346 to 1463. Topic. The status of the Serbian Orthodox Church grew along with the expansion and heightened prestige of the Serbian Kingdom. After King Stefan Dusan assumed the imperial title of Tsar, the Serbian Archbishopric was correspondingly raised to the rank of Patriarchate in 1346. In the century that followed, the Serbian Church achieved its greatest power and prestige. In the 14th century Serbian Orthodox clergy had the title of Protos at Mount Athos. On April 16, 1346 Easter, Stefan Dusan convoked a Grand Assembly at Skopje, attended by the Serbian Archbishop Jonikic II, Archbishop Nicholas I of Ored, Patriarch Simeon of Bulgaria and various religious leaders of Mount Athos. The assembly and clergy agreed on, and then ceremonially performed the raising of the autocephalous Serbian Archbishopric to the status of Patriarchate. 
The Archbishop was from now on titled Serbian Patriarch, although some documents called him Patriarch of Serbs and Greeks, with the seat at Patriarchal Monastery of Peck. The new Patriarch Jonikij II now solemnly crowned Stefan Dusan as Emperor and Autocrat of Serbs and Romans. See Emperor of Serbs. The patriarchal status resulted in raising bishoprics to metropolitanates, as for example the Metropolitanate of Skopje. The Patriarchate took over sovereignty on Mount Athos and the Greek archbishoprics under the jurisdiction of the Patriarchate of Constantinople the Archbishopric of Ohrid remained autocephalous, which resulted in Dusan's excommunication by Patriarch Callistus I of Constantinople in 1350. Renewed Patriarchate 1557 The Ottoman Empire finally conquered Serbian despotate in 1459, Bosnian Kingdom in 1463, Herzegovina in 1482 and Montenegro in 1499. All of the conquered lands were divided in Sanjaks. Although some Serbs converted to Islam, most continued their adherence to the Serbian Orthodox Church. The church itself continued in existence throughout the Ottoman period, though not without some disruption. After the death of Serbian Patriarch Arseni II in 1463, a successor was not elected. The Patriarchate was thus de facto abolished, and the Serbian church passed under the jurisdiction of Archbishopric of Ohrid and ultimately the Ecumenical Patriarchate which exercised jurisdiction over all Orthodox of the Ottoman Empire under the millet system. After several failed attempts, made from c. 1530 up to 1541 by Metropolitan Pavla of Smederevo to regain the autocephaly by seizing the throne of Peck and proclaiming himself not only Archbishop of Peck, but also Serbian Patriarch. The Serbian Patriarchate was finally restored in 1557 under the Sultan Suleiman II, thanks to the mediation of Pasha Mehmed Sokolovic, who was Serbian by birth. His cousin, one of the Serbian Orthodox bishops Makarije Sokolovic, was elected Patriarch in Peck. The restoration of the Patriarchate was of great importance for the Serbs because it helped the spiritual unification of all Serbs in the Ottoman Empire. The Patriarchate of Peck also included some dioceses in western Bulgaria. In the time of Serbian Patriarch Jovan Kantel (1592–1614), the Ottoman Turks took the remains of Saint Sava from Monastery Mileseva to the Vrakar Hill in Belgrade, where they were burned by Sinan Pasha on a stake to intimidate the Serb people in case of revolts. See Banat Uprising (1594). The Temple of Saint Sava was built on the place where his remains were burned. One. After consequent Serbian uprisings against the Turkish occupiers in which the church had a leading role, the Ottomans abolished the Patriarchate once again in 1766. The church returned once more under the jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarch of Constantinople. This period of rule by the so-called Phanariots was a period of great spiritual decline because the Greek bishops had very little understanding of their Serbian flock. Church in the Habsburg Monarchy Topic. During this period, many Christians across the Balkans converted to Islam to avoid severe taxes imposed by the Turks in retaliation for uprisings and continued resistance. Many Serbs migrated with their hierarchs to Habsburg Monarchy where they had been granted autonomy. In 1708, an autonomous Serbian Orthodox Metropolitanate of Karlovci was created, that would later become a Patriarchate 1848 Modern history The Church's close association with Serbian resistance to Ottoman rule led to Eastern Orthodoxy becoming inextricably linked with Serbian national identity and the new Serbian monarchy that emerged from 1815 onwards. The Serbian Orthodox Church in the Principality of Serbia gained its autonomy in 1831, and was organized as the Metropolitanate of Belgrade, remaining under the supreme ecclesiastical jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople. Principality of Serbia gained full political independence from the Ottoman Empire in 1878, and soon after that negotiations were initiated with the Ecumenical Patriarchate, resulting in canonical recognition of full ecclesiastical independence for the Metropolitanate of Belgrade in 1879. 
In the same time, Serbian Orthodox eparchies in Bosnia and Herzegovina remained under supreme ecclesiastical jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate, but gained internal autonomy. In southern eparchies, that remained under the Ottoman rule, Serbian metropolitans were appointed by the end of the 19th century. Thus by the begin of the 20th century several distinctive Serbian ecclesiastical provinces existed, including the Patriarchate of Karlovci in the Habsburg Monarchy, the Metropolitanate of Belgrade in the Kingdom of Serbia, and the Metropolitanate of Montenegro in the Principality of Montenegro. After World War I all the Orthodox Serbs were united under one ecclesiastical authority, and two Serbian churches were united into the single Serbian Orthodox Church in 1920 with the election of Serbian Patriarch Dimitrija. It gained great political and social influence in the interwar Kingdom of Yugoslavia, during which time it successfully campaigned against the Yugoslav government's intentions of signing a concordat with the Holy See. United Serbian Orthodox Church kept under its jurisdiction the Eparchy of Buda in Hungary. In 1921, Serbian Orthodox Church created a new eparchy for the Czech lands, headed by Bishop Gorazd Pavlik. In the same time, Serbian Church in Diaspora was reorganized, an eparchy diocese for the United States and Canada was created. In 1931 another diocese was created, called Eparchy of Mukachevo and Presho, for Eastern Orthodox Christians in Slovakia and Carpathian Rusinia. During the Second World War the Serbian Orthodox Church suffered severely from persecutions by the occupying powers and the rapidly anti-Serbian Ustase regime of independent state of Croatia, which sought to create a «Croatian Orthodox Church», which Orthodox Serbs were forced to join. Many Serbs were killed, expelled and forced to convert to Catholicism during the Serbian genocide. Bishops and priests of the Serbian Orthodox Church were singled out for persecution, and many Orthodox churches were damaged or destroyed. After the war the church was suppressed by the communist government of Josip Broz Tito, which viewed it with suspicion due to the church's links with the exiled Serbian monarchy and the nationalist Chetnik movement. Along with other ecclesiastical institutions of all denominations, the church was subject to strict controls by the Yugoslav state, which prohibited the teaching of religion in schools, confiscated church property and discouraged religious activity among the population. In 1963, Serbian Church in Diaspora was reorganized, and Eparchy for the United States and Canada was divided into three Eparchies. In the same time, some internal divisions sparked in Serbian Diaspora, leading to the creation of the separate, Free Serbian Orthodox Church. Division was healed in 1991, and Metropolitanate of New Gracanica was created, within the United Serbian Orthodox Church. The gradual demise of Yugoslav communism and the rise of rival nationalist movements during the 1980s also led to a marked religious revival throughout Yugoslavia, not least in Serbia. The Serbian Patriarch Pavla, supported the opposition to Slobodan Milosevic in the 1990s. The Macedonian Orthodox Church was created in 1967, effectively as an offshoot of the Serbian Orthodox Church in what was then the Socialist Republic of Macedonia, as part of the Yugoslav drive to build up a Macedonian national identity. This was strongly resisted by the Serbian Church, which does not recognize the independence of its Macedonian counterpart. Campaigns for an independent Montenegrin Orthodox Church have also gained ground in recent years. The Yugoslav Wars gravely impacted several branches of the Serbian Orthodox Church. Many Serbian Orthodox Church clergy supported the war, while others were against it. Many churches in Croatia were damaged or destroyed during the Croatian War 1991 The bishops and priests and most faithful of the eparchies of Zagreb, of Karlovac, of Slavonia and of Dalmatia became refugees. The latter three were almost completely abandoned after the exodus of the Serbs from Croatia in 1995 Operation Storm. The Eparchy of Dalmatia also had its see temporarily moved to Nin after the Republic of Serbian Krajina was established. The Eparchy of Slavonia had its see moved from Pakrak to Daruvar. After Operation Storm, two monasteries were particularly damaged, the Krupa Monastery built in 1317, and the Kirka Monastery built in 1345. The eparchies of Bihać and Petrovac, Dabar Bosnia and Zvornik and Tuzla were also dislocated due to the war in Bosnia and Herzegovina. The eparchy see of Dabar Bosnia was temporarily moved to Sokolac, and the see of Zvornik Tuzla to Bajeljina. Over a hundred church-owned objects in the Zvornik Tuzla eparchy were destroyed or damaged during the war. 
Many monasteries and churches in the Zahumlya eparchy were also destroyed. Numerous faithful from these eparchies also became refugees. By 1998 the situation had stabilized in both countries. Most of the property of the Serbian Orthodox Church was returned to normal use, the bishops and priests returned, and that which was destroyed, damaged or vandalized was restored. The process of rebuilding several churches is still underway, notably the Cathedral of the Eparchy of Upper Karlovac and Karlovac. The return of the Serbian Orthodox Church faithful also started, but they are not nearly close to their pre-war numbers, as of 2004. Due to the Kosovo War, after 1999 numerous Serbian Orthodox holy sites in the province were left occupied only by clergy. Since the arrival of NATO troops in June 1999, 156 Serbian Orthodox churches and monasteries have been damaged or destroyed and several priests have been killed. During the few days of the 2004 unrest in Kosovo, 35 Serbian Orthodox churches and monasteries were damaged and some destroyed by Albanian mobs. Thousands of Serbs were forced to move from Kosovo due to the numerous attacks of Kosovo Albanians on Serbian churches and Serbs. The process of church reorganization in diaspora and full reintegration of the Metropolitanate of New Gracanica was completed from 2009 to 2011. By that, full structural unity of Serbian church institutions in diaspora was achieved. Topic: Adherence. Topic. Based on the official census results in countries which encompass territorial canonic jurisdiction of the Serbian Orthodox Church Serb autochthonous region of Western Balkans, there are more than 8 million adherents of the Church. Orthodoxy is the largest single religious faith in Serbia with 6,079,296 adherents 84.5% of the population belonging to it according to the 2011 census, and in Montenegro with 460,383 74%. It is the second largest faith in Bosnia and Herzegovina with 31.2% of adherents, and in Croatia with 4.4% of adherents. Figures for eparchies abroad Western Europe, North America, and Australia is unknown although some estimates can be reached based on the size of Serb diaspora, which numbers over 2 million people. Structure the head of the Serbian Orthodox Church, the Patriarch, also serves as the head Metropolitan of the Metropolitanate of Belgrade and Karlovci. Irinej became Patriarch on the 22nd of January 2010. Serbian Orthodox Patriarchs use the style His Holiness the Archbishop of Peć, Metropolitan of Belgrade and Karlovci, Serbian Patriarch. The highest body of the Church is the Holy Assembly of Bishops Serbian, Sveti Arhijereski Sabor. Sveti Arhijereski Sabor. It consists of the Patriarch, the Metropolitans, Bishops, Archbishop of Ored and Vicar Bishops. It meets twice a year, in spring and in autumn. The Holy Assembly of Bishops makes important decisions for the Church and elects the Patriarch. The executive body of the Serbian Orthodox Church is the Holy Synod. It has five members, four bishops and the Patriarch. The Holy Synod takes care of the everyday operation of the Church, holding meetings on regular basis. Topic. Territorial organization Topic. The territory of the Serbian Orthodox Church is divided into One Patriarchal Eparchy, headed by Serbian Patriarch Four Eparchies that are honorary Metropolitanates, headed by Metropolitans Thirty-five Eparchies dioceses, headed by Bishops One Autonomous Archbishopric, headed by Archbishop, the Autonomous Archbishopric of Ored. It is further divided into one eparchy headed by the Metropolitan and six eparchies headed by bishops. Dioceses are further divided into episcopal deaneries, each consisting of several church congregations or parishes. Church congregations consist of one or more parishes. A parish is the smallest church unit, a communion of Orthodox faithful congregating at the Holy Eucharist with the parish priest at their head. Topic: <laughs> Autonomous Archbishopric of Ored. Topic. The Autonomous Archbishopric of Ored or Orthodox Ored Archbishopric is an autonomous archbishopric in the Republic of Macedonia under the jurisdiction of the Serbian Orthodox Church. 
It was formed in 2002 in opposition to the Macedonian Orthodox Church, which had had a similar relationship with the Serbian Orthodox Church prior to 1967, when it unilaterally declared itself autocephalous. This archbishopric is divided into one metropolitanate, Skopje, and the six eparchies of Bregelnica, Dabar and Kasivo, Palag and Kamanovo, Prespa and Pelagonia, Strumica and Velez and Povardarhe. Worship, liturgy and doctrine Services cannot properly be conducted by a single person, but must have at least one other person present. Usually, all of the services are conducted on a daily basis only in monasteries and cathedrals, while parish churches might only do the services on the weekend and major feast days. The Divine Liturgy is the celebration of the Eucharist. The Divine Liturgy is not celebrated on weekdays during the preparatory season of Great Lent. Communion is consecrated on Sundays and distributed during the week at the Liturgy of the Presanctified Gifts. Services, especially the Divine Liturgy, can only be performed once a day on any particular altar. The Serbian Orthodox Church is characterized by monotheistic Trinitarianism, a belief in the incarnation of the Logos, Son of God, a balancing of cataphatic theology with apophatic theology, a hermeneutic defined by sacred tradition, a concrete ecclesiology, a robust theology of the person, and a therapeutic soteriology. A key part of the Serbian Orthodox religion is the Slava, a celebration of the clan patron saint. Saint, placed into Serb Orthodox religious canon by the first Serb Archbishop Saint Sava. Inter-Christian relations The Serbian Orthodox Church is in full communion with the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople which holds a special place of honor within Orthodoxy and serves as the seat for the Ecumenical Patriarch, who enjoys the status of first among equals and all of the autocephalous Eastern Orthodox Church bodies. It has been a member of the World Council of Churches since 1965, and of the Conference of European Churches. However, the Church is currently in conflict with the non-canonical Macedonian Orthodox Church and the Montenegrin Orthodox Church. Art Architecture Serbian medieval churches were built in the Byzantine spirit. The Roska style refers to the Serbian architecture from the 12th to the end of the 14th century Studenica, Holandar, Zika. The Vardal style, which is the typical one, was developed in the late 13th century combining Byzantine and Serbian influences to form a new architectural style, Gracanica, Patriarchal Monastery of Peck. By the time of the Serbian Empire, the Serbian state had enlarged itself over Macedonia, Epirus and Thessaly all the way to the Aegean Sea, which resulted in stronger influences from Byzantine art tradition. The Morava style refers to the period of the fall of Serbia under the Ottoman Empire, from 1371 to 1459 Ravanica, Lubostinja, Kalinic, Riseva. During the 17th century many of the Serbian Orthodox churches that were built in Belgrade took all the characteristics of Baroque churches built in the Habsburg-occupied regions where Serbs lived. The churches usually had a bell tower, and a single nave building with the iconostasis inside the church covered with Renaissance-style paintings. These churches can be found in Belgrade and Vojvodina, which were occupied by the Austrian Empire from 1717 to 1739, and on the border with Austrian later Austria-Hungary across the Sava and Danube rivers from 1804 when Serbian statehood was re-established. <laughs> Icons Icons are replete with symbolism meant to convey far more meaning than simply the identity of the person depicted, and it is for this reason that Orthodox iconography has become an exacting science of copying older icons rather than an opportunity for artistic expression. The personal, idiosyncratic and creative traditions of Western European religious art are largely lacking in Orthodox iconography before the 17th century, when Russian and Serbian icon painting was influenced by religious paintings and engravings from Europe. Large icons can be found adorning the walls of churches and often cover the inside structure completely. Orthodox homes often likewise have icons hanging on the wall, usually together on an eastern-facing wall, and in a central location where the family can pray together. 
Topic: Insignia. Topic: The Serbian tricolor with a Serbian cross is used as the official flag of the Serbian Orthodox Church. A number of other unofficial variant flags, some with variations of the cross, coat of arms, or both, exist. Topic. See also. Topic. List of heads of the Serbian Orthodox Church. List of Serbian Orthodox monasteries. List of Serbian saints. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Sources. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Official website. List of Serbian Orthodox shrines abroad. Svetosavlia. Org in Serbian. SRPSKO Blago, Serbian treasure site, photos, QTVR and movies of Serbian monasteries and Serbian Orthodox art Article on the Serbian Orthodox Church by Ronald Roberson on the CNEWA website Article on the medieval history of the Serbian Orthodox Church in the repository of the Institute for Byzantine Studies of the Austrian Academy of Sciences in German Serbian Orthodox holy sites in Kosovo